According to several sources close to Asian supply chains and the research divisions of major technology corporations, a project has been actively discussed behind the scenes at Samsung in recent months that is internally described as a potential next iPhone moment, but at the level of the human body itself. The project involves the development of a next-generation microchip designed for implantation in the human hand, capable of turning the palm into a full-fledged smartphone when needed, without a physical device, screen, or traditional casing. At first glance, this sounds like science fiction, but sources claim that Samsung has now reached a technological threshold where this concept is no longer theoretical and is beginning to take on real engineering form. According to South Korean and U.S. industry publications, the project involves divisions that previously worked on advanced OLED displays, flexible electronics, neural interfaces, and energy-efficient mobile processors, with a key enabling factor being a sharp leap in AI chips and ultra-compact power sources. Insiders say that unlike neural implants being developed in the U.S., the Korean concept does not involve direct interaction with the brain, with control instead based on signals from nerve endings in the palm and forearm, while the interface is projected either via micro-light-emitting elements beneath the skin or through external optical devices synchronized with the chip. According to analysts, this approach makes the technology potentially more scalable and more acceptable from a regulatory and societal perspective. Sources in Seoul note that Samsung closely studied the mistakes and limitations of competitors, including projects by American companies that remain either too experimental or far from commercialization. At the same time, over the past two years, Samsung has invested billions of dollars in advanced semiconductor manufacturing, artificial intelligence, and biocompatible materials, which have unexpectedly come together into a single technological chain. According to a former company consultant, AI turned out to be the missing piece as modern algorithms are capable of interpreting nerve impulses, filtering noise, and adapting the interface to each individual user, making control of a palm-based smartphone intuitive and almost imperceptible. In closed presentations cited by sources, the device is positioned not as an exotic gadget, but as a logical continuation of the evolution of mobile technologies in a world where physical phones are increasingly reaching the limits of form and convenience. The strategic context is emphasized separately. Amid a slowing smartphone market and intensifying competition, Samsung needs a radically new product class, capable not just of refreshing a lineup, but of rewriting the rules of the game and putting competitors, including Apple, into a catch-up position. Several Western analytical centers have already drawn attention to a series of patents filed by the Korean corporation in recent months that reference implantable communication modules, tactile feedback through the skin, and distributed computing between the body and the cloud, indirectly confirming that this is not a set of isolated experiments, but a coherent strategy. At the same time, sources stress that a public announcement is still far off, as the project is at an early stage, being tested in closed laboratories, and the company is extremely cautious given potential public reaction and ethical debates. However, the fact that such developments are underway right now is widely linked to the current technological window of opportunity, combining mature AI, miniaturized chips, flexible electronics, and market pressure demanding a breakthrough. Increasingly, the industry is voicing the view that if Samsung is the first to bring such a technology to market even in a limited form, it could represent the most serious blow to the classic smartphone in the past 15 years and permanently change perceptions of where the human ends and technology begins. A Chinese company entered the Guinness World Records by staging a grand show with 7,598 drones one of the most complex aerial ballets in history. The main challenge was not the flight itself, as the most difficult stage of preparation was the launch logistics, with thousands of drones needing to be placed into launch boxes, 12 drones per box, with zero margin for error. Under the record verification rules, one of the figures had to remain motionless in the air for at least 20 seconds, and the organizers chose a striking image of a tiger against a meteor shower. Thousands of drones synchronously changed position, color, and altitude, 
operating like a single organism, where any failure would have cost the record. Such shows are not just spectacle, but a demonstration of extreme precision in navigation, communication, and swarm control algorithms that find applications far beyond entertainment, from logistics to security. Buying a robot is now as easy as buying a smartphone or home appliance. A specialized store called Robot Mall has opened in Beijing, the first full-scale shopping center of its kind entirely dedicated to robots. Robot Mall spans three floors and offers hundreds of models from more than 500 brands, ranging from simple service robots to advanced humanoids. The assortment even includes a robotic Albert Einstein, serving more as a symbol of the era than just an exhibit. Prices start at just 2,000 yuan, meaning robots are no longer a luxury and are gradually becoming a mass-market product. Inside the store, there is a service center, a demonstration area where robots can be tested in person, and even a small museum showing the evolution of machines from early prototypes to modern humanoids. This is no longer an exhibition or a futuristic showroom, but ordinary retail. In effect, China is demonstrating the next stage of robotization, where machines leave laboratories and factories and go directly to the consumer. The first combat robot club has opened in San Francisco, a place where machines face off in duels and spectators watch it as a new kind of sport. Inside the cage are Chinese combat robots from Unitry and Booster Robotics. The fights take place every month and are streamed online, attracting a growing audience. For now, the robots fight under remote control, with human operators responsible for strikes, movement and tactics. But the organizers are already openly talking about the future, with the next step being a transition to artificial intelligence, where machines will make decisions on their own. At the moment, the combat robots look clumsy, with slow reactions, simple attacks, and limited coordination. But this is exactly the stage where early drones and self-driving cars once were. In effect, we are witnessing the birth of a new field of robotic combat, where sport, AI, and military technologies converge. And once algorithms begin learning from every fight, development will accelerate explosively. Honda has been experimenting for almost a decade with one of the most difficult challenges in the motorcycle world, self-balancing. And today, this technology has finally come close to practical application. Early versions of the system maintained balance through active movements of the front wheel, a solution that worked but was complex and expensive. In the latest version, Honda took a different approach. The new system, called Honda Riding Assist, is significantly simpler with balance achieved through controlled lateral movement of the rear wheel, without bulky mechanisms or complex kinematics. The motorcycle can maintain balance on its own at low speeds, when stopping, and during slow maneuvering. In effect, it no longer falls over, even without support from the rider's feet. This technology could radically change the philosophy of motorcycles by lowering the entry barrier for beginners, improving safety in urban environments, and making riding less physically demanding. Write in the comments what you liked the most after watching this video. Subscribe to the Karo Show channel so you don't miss the next episodes. Bye for now!